so let's break it down. The game was all tied up when he checked in the game with 8.40 left to go. DeMar DeRozan looked to get to his sweet spot often and early, and this play in particular, he gets there twice, and he's not gonna turn it down the second time. He was absolutely money from that spot. Coming off the rebound, attacking right off the pick and roll, gets to his spot, doesn't hesitate, heat check. There it goes. DeMar DeRozan's usage percentage in the fourth quarter went from the second lowest on the team at 12.4% to 51.3% for the rest of this game, meaning the ball was in his hands, that we were going to let DeMar DeRozan decide what happens at the end of this game. 58.6% of the Spurs offense was generated through DeMar DeRozan in the last eight minutes, either from getting a bucket, getting a free throw. DeMar DeRozan turns this foul into a three-point play by knocking down his first shot at the free throw line. And DeMar shows a lot of effort here, chasing down his own miss off the free throw is not easy to do. You know, basic principle of this offense is just to attack and kick, attacks the paint, kicks out, and DeMar does a great job of knocking this jumper down, which is the longest two of his life, I'm sure. Three point play for DeMar. Doesn't matter, knocks it down. Here we go, another pick and roll off the top of the screen, attacks the big, gets to a sweet spot, cannot stop him. Here's a great play of DeMar showing that he was locked in mentally. We have seen DeMar uh, get frustrated when he picks up a foul late in the game. Here DeMar picks up his hand, shows that, you know what, that's on me, I'm not gonna let it bother him. And it really doesn't, stays locked in for the rest of this game. And to me, that's a big, a big sign of encouragement coming from DeMar. Go DeMar again on the switch, takes him all the way to the hoop this time. There was no stopping this matchup. Here we go again. DeMar is going to go ahead and attack the big, create the switch on the pick and roll. Gets all the way to the rim, and draws a foul, gets to the free throw line. He was involved in 15 out of the last 17 plays from the Spurs down the stretch. Um, that was a mismatch favor for the Spurs. There was no big that can stop DeMar DeRozan. He was getting to his sweet spot all day. But where he really did his work was coming off the pick and roll, attacking the bigs. Every time we created a switch, um, that was a mismatch in favor for the Spurs. Knocking him down. Clutch. Great play calling from Pop put DeMar DeRozan in many positions to be successful in the areas where he is most successful. Good execution here on this out-of-bounds play. It's going to create an opportunity for DeMar to drive and collapse the defense and find any open player that he can and makes one hell of a one-handed scoop spin on the ball bounce pass to Keldon Johnson who knows exactly what to do with it when he catches it. Keldon Johnson attacks nice and easy dump down to DeMar dabs him up because that's a great play from the rookie. Two more points for DeMar DeRozan. This fourth quarter shows what DeMar DeRozan is capable of. You know, he's capable of taking a back seat for nearly three, you know, the whole, for nearly the whole game. Turns it on at the end of the third just to really get him going because he knows that he's going to carry the load in the fourth. The Spurs were able to do that and rely on their young guys like Derek White, who had a hell of a game. Lonnie Walker came up huge in the fourth quarter with some big plays. Rudy Gay hit a, hit a big shot. Everyone stepped up huge, but we put in DeMar's hands to lead them to the victory down the stretch. It was a close game throughout, and when he checked in, it was 100-100. So DeMar was able to do something that not a lot of players can do, but DeMar is a player who gets his juices going by creating for others and in those three quarters he wasn't looking to get himself going offensively he was but he was getting himself going by dropping 10 assists you know scores eight points in the last five minutes of the third quarter just to finish three quarters with 10 picks up the rest in the fourth uh, that's a closer for you DeMar DeRozan putting him putting the team before himself to get this W now that's what I call worthy of wielding the hammer of Thor that's what Because that's what heroes do.